Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to use iLibs. It allows you to uh, manage multiple iTunes libraries. So you can sync more than one iPod and one computer simply. Okay, how you're going to do this is you're going to go to copytrans.net slash iLibs.php. You're going to hit download. Download this. And this gives you instructions on how to download it. Um, I'm not going to do it because I already have it installed. Okay, so then you're going to just type in copy trans control center under programs. And you're going to look for iLibs. Um, it wants me to close my iTunes. Um, one second, let me show you. So, what I'm doing here is this is my iTunes. My little brother just got a brand new MP3 player and he wants some of my music, but not all my music that I've already bought off iTunes or some of my music that he just doesn't like. So I'm gonna go to this is it. so we made him a playlist called Mikey. Here's my whole library. Here's his stuff. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna export song list. I'm just gonna throw it on the desktop and I'm gonna exit of iTunes first. Okay. So, this is my default library. I'm just going to add. This is my little brother. I'm going to call him Mikey. I'm going to add another Mikey's MP3 player. I'm going to start from scratch. And it says it's active. So, I'm going to launch up iTunes. It basically brings up a whole new iTunes pretty much. So I'm just hit next. Nope. Sure. Take me to the library. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit file. This is like a brand new library too. Hit file, go to import playlist, go to the desktop. Find my file. Ship's called Mikey. There it is. And there we go. We've got his playlist right there. And there we go. Mikey has all his new songs. Right there. So now I can just sync to iTunes. Okay, and that's about it. Um, uh, please subscribe. And uh, you should go get the software. I highly recommend it. That's all for today. Exit out of this here. See you.